Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be explaining about the types of resistance welding. From previous video, we have already know that what is resistance welding. So there are main three types of resistance welding process. First one is spot resistance welding. Second one is seam resistance welding. And the third one is projection resistance welding. Let me discuss them one by one in detail. So first one is spot resistance welding or in short spot welding process. So what is spot welding process? Spot welding process is two overlapping sheets are pressed together between two copper electrode. So this is resistance welding. So we will use the AC power supply to generate heat between the plates and we will press the plates by the application of force and after some time the contact area of that plate will be fused that will be a very small area and after solidification we will get the welding joint a high current passes for a short duration generating heat at the interface due to resistance so here the metal melts locally and upon cooling a weld nugget forms so the spot welding process in spot welding process the metal melts locally very small area in a very small area so this is a setup of spot welding process or spot resistance welding process so this is one electrode this is another electrode and it is connected to this tongue and this tongue and tongue is made of metal both tongues are made of metal and the electrodes are also made of metals so when we are connect AC power supply to the tongue, the connection also connects the electrodes, both electrodes. So these are the plates which will be welded by the spot welding process. So when uh, the plates are placed between these two electrodes and pressed and pressed together and when the power supply is on the electric flows through these two plates and also by the electrodes and after short duration the electric power supply is closed but the pressure remains constant or pressure remains when the electric was flowing through this line the heat was generating between these two plates because of the resistance of the uh, electric so when heat was generating this very small spot melts and after few time when the ac power supply is disconnected after few time this portion becomes solid and we get a weld nugget so this is a welding process where the joint is locally so in a spot in a very small spot the joint is happens so this is called spot resistance welding process we are using the resistance of electric and by the use of electric and pressure we are welding in a particular spot that is spot welding process next the applications so in automobile bodies sheet metal assemblies domestic appliances spot welding process is used so what are the advantages so this is very fast and clean process so this is very fast we are welding in a very small particular spot that's why this is very fast and we are not using any kind of flux so this pro welding process is very clean no filler material is needed easy to automate so we can easily automate this this process that is we can use robot to welding in this process but this process has some limitations this is not suitable for thick materials so when we want to weld thick metals using spot resistance welding process that is impossible so we only able to join only thin metals and joints are not leak proof the joints are also not leak proofs these, these are two plates and welding is done in a particular spot not the full joint not the full joint is being welded only a particular spot is getting welded so that's why the welding joints are not leak proof 
the next one is seam resistance welding process so this is one type of spot welding process but spot welding process uh, was a spot a spot was being welded but in seam welding process the welding is being done between the two plates in a continuous way it is may called continuous spot welding process so it is a modified form of spot welding instead of stationary electrodes the electrodes in spot welding process the electrodes were stationary that's the electrodes were placed in a particular particular place but in this seam welding process the electrodes are not stationary and also the electrodes are totally different from spot welding process in seam welding process rotating wheel electrodes are used so in seam welding process the rotating wheel wheels are used to weld two metals the work pieces pass between them and a series of overlapping spot welds form a continuous seam or continuous seam welding so in this figure we can see the seam welding process uh, this one and this one are uh, parent metal or metal to be joined or welded metal sheets and this is one uh, wheel and this is another wheel and these are connected to ac power supply and these wheels are fixed like one is fixed and another is, is movable this center can be moved upward and downward so that the thickness can vary and we can weld easily so uh, the plates are placed between these two wheels and pressed and pressed together and when uh, pressing is done and also these wheels can rotate rotate it's according to its center according to it, it is rotating uh, clockwise and and it is rotating anti clockwise so the plates will be passed from left to right and also the electric power supply is given to these two wheels and these two wheels are made of metals and when electric power supply is given the wheel will rotate very slowly and the uh, metal will be pass between the wheels very slowly and when this process is being done the join of these two metals are getting multiple spots welding multiple spot welding is getting done and that's why the multiple spot welding is getting done that's why the welding joint will be a continuous joint and this continuous welding joint is called seam welding process and we are using the resistance of the electric that's why it is called seam resistance welding process we can see the isometric view of the seam welding process this one and this one is wheel and these are the plates and we can see that the welding is done uh, between the join of the two metals so two overlapping metals are being joined and the welding joint is continuous and it is also leak proof so we can say that this is the multiple spot welding process so applications are in fuel tank oil drum steam cans radiators are made um, using seam welding process because uh, these applications need a leak proof joints that's why uh, seam welding is used to make these types of construction what are the advantages it produces leak proof joints suitable for automation and it creates uniform welding joints but it has some limitations limited to thin sheets difficult to weld irregular shapes we can't weld irregular shapes we can weld uh, irregular shapes in arc welding process or any other welding process but in resistance welding process mainly in seam welding process we can't weld uh, irregular shapes next one is the projection welding process or projection resistance welding process so this is one type of spot welding process but it is uh, different from the spot welding process the setup is same but the work pieces are different from the work pieces are used in spot welding process or seam welding process this is a uh, little different so first small projections or raised points are made on one work piece so in spot welding process the metal pieces were flat flat thin sheets but in 
projection welding process one metal sheet will be flat but one metal sheet will be some raised surfaces this one is raised surfaces and this is called projection when the current passes through heat is concentrated at these projections so when the current will be passes heat will be uh, concentrated in this area this will be contacted uh, with the another plate so heat will be passes through this area the projected projected area so projected area will be melt faster than the sp uh, spot welding or seam welding process because the contact area is very less though heat will be uh, concentrated only in this area for that which collapse under pressure to form localized weld nuggets multiple welds can be made in one cycle and it is good for welding nuts bolts and other attachments so if we want to weld in different different and parts we can also uh, do that so let's suppose this one this is one 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 projection area this is one projection this is second this is third so when electric is passes between them and also press together this portion this portion and this portion will be fused faster and will make a welding joint by the use of projection welding so this is one setup of projection welding process this one and this one are electrodes mainly made of copper electrode copper uh, metals so we can see that this portion is projected and when pressure is applied and with the help of the resistance of electricity this projected area will be fused and after the solidification we will get a welding joint so this is projection resistance welding process so what are the applications of this process fastening nuts and bolts to sheet metal automotive and appliance parts these are the applications and have some advantages have uh, accurate weld location so in this process we can weld in a particular the accurate particular area also uh, it has uniform strength in welding joint and it is suitable for mass production it has also some limitations it requires proper projection design the design have to be proper projected area proper projected area to be covered in this process if the design is is not good or design design is imperfect then the welding will also be defected and it is a more complex setup in spot welding or in seam welding process the setup was very simple but in this process the setup is complex because of the uh, projected area of the work pieces that's why the setup is complex so in this video i have discussed about the three major types of resistance welding process that is spot welding process seam welding process and the projection welding process hope this video was useful for you thank you for watching this video for more updates subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon